attacks that occurred? The first time he got attacked, it was like 10 years ago. He got, um, he was a player, he wasn't refereeing yet. He had a broken leg. Then um, the next time it was about like five years ago, I think, he had a broken rib, being attacked by a player too. We asked them, I asked him, I was like, why do you keep doing it? You just keep getting, you know, just hurting yourself. He said that that was his risk, that was his risk because that was his passion. So we all talked to him and he didn't want to leave it and there's like nothing I couldn't do. I was worried the whole time. Right. And this uh, next, last Saturday when they called me, I never thought I was going to be this serious. And uh, did you witness what happened? No, I didn't. And, and so it, was any of your family present at that particular game? No, nobody was present. So the first time Just you friends. saw him was at the hospital? Yeah. Can you talk to me about that? I got, call I'm sorry. I got a call from my uncle saying that my daddy was in the hospital again, that I needed to go down there. And I was like, oh my God, what did I do to him again? It never crossed in my mind that it was going to be this, this serious. When I got to the hospital, I saw everybody's faces, the doctor's faces, and to just get this really, you know, bad feeling. I walked in, I saw my dad laying in the bed, and I got close. I grabbed his head. He pressed my head really hard. I saw him, I was like, Daddy, we're gonna be okay. And then he said, he looked at me and he went like that. Oh, and he started crying. He was like, no. After that, he started going into shock. They pulled me out of the room. And that's the last time I saw my dog conscious. I'm very sorry, Joanna. Um, I know I also read that, you know, somehow you were going to find forgiveness in your heart for this teenager. Um, maybe not now, but maybe in the future. How, how can you go there? I just need time to heal. It's a lot of pain that this kid caused my whole family, especially my sisters and I. My youngest sister, she's just like in shock. She can't believe it. She still, you know, she doesn't think that this is going on. She's just like, like a normal day for her. She still talk, talks about my dad like nothing happened. My other, my other sister, she's like in shock. She won't talk about it. She won't cry about it. It's just really hard. I will forgive this kid because it's only on God's hands, you know, for him to have his punishment, not on mine. But right now, it's too soon for me to forgive him.